So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how helpful these little inserts are to put into your workbench. So you can mount stuff to it and basically keep everything modular. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have a bunch of these in my table already and it makes it really easy to switch out tools and mount stuff to your tabletop and then be able to take them off and move them and store them when you're not using them. Cause let's face it, you're not always going to be using the same tools over and over and over again, or for every project. So these inserts are very easy to install and you'll notice a couple of weird things about them. They're threaded on the outside and the inside and they have a hex key top. So you can put an Allen key into them. So installing these, like I said, very simple. You just drill a hole in a tabletop that you don't mind having a bunch of holes in. So to do that, I'm gonna be using a nine millimeter drill bit. Uh, depending on which inserts you get, they will need different sizes, but this is the size that I found that works with most of the tools that I have. So that's what I'm gonna use. One of the other reasons I kind of have to do this is because I have no ledge on my table. So I can't clamp anything onto this. It has to be bolted to it. So if you see my videos in the past, I have this piece of wood that everyone always asks about and why I have it there. This is so I can actually put a bench pin onto my table. So this attaches just right here. So if I put this down, take all the bolts out so I can actually line it up. So there we go, with this all installed, I can put the bench pin on here now and tighten it down. And now I have an area for sawing. And this has held up for years now on this little piece of wood. But this does get in my way, so I did make it easy enough so I can just unbolt it and remove it. And I could just keep my bench pin on it and reattach it whenever I need it. So for some of these, I will reuse for different tools because they will start lining up with different tools that I use. So this is a four inch guillotine shear for cutting metals. You absolutely have to mount this down or you're not going to really get much done because you need leverage. So I can find some holes that line up and see if I can bolt this down from previous ones, or I can have a dedicated area for this one, depending on how you want to do your setup, or I can add more if one hole lines up. So this back one over here does, but there's nothing over here that does. And you don't need all four bolts to secure these. Usually you only need two. So if I take a bolt and just secure it in place with a couple threads, it'll help me get a feel for where I can turn this. So what I can do is turn this and see if it lines up with anything, which it doesn't seem like it does, so I'm gonna add a new one. So I'm gonna add it right here. So to mark where your hole is going to be, you should use a center punch that fits through the hole, but I do not have one, all of mine are too thick, so I'm just going to use a screwdriver and just kind of line it up in the center of this. And I'm just going to tap it with the hammer. So that left a small dent in my table. So I know exactly where I need to drill. Make sure you know what is on the other side of your table, just in case if you're gonna be hitting anything that's important. So I have drawers, but it's a long drop all the way down that I won't be hitting anything. If I was any closer to the edge, I would be hitting a piece of metal that's right here, but I think this will be clear that metal. So I'm gonna take my nine millimeter drill bit. Next thing I need to do is actually take my insert and start threading it in. And take my Allen key and get it going. Try to make it go in as straight as possible. There we go. And then I'm gonna tighten it a little bit more to get it as flush as I can into the table. So now with that like that, I can flip this back around and make sure that the holes line up and put a bolt in. So now I can just tighten these down. The shear is completely stuck to the table now and now I can use it to my heart's content. And once I'm done with it, I can just remove the bolts and put it away. So it's a very simple, quick and easy setup to get stuff mounted down. So I actually got this suggested by a subscriber a long time ago because I never mounted down my rolling mill. And yeah, it's like night and day once you can actually mount something down. 
And if you thought this was helpful, check out the next video that I'm going to be putting out. It's going to be in tandem with this one. And I'll actually have a link up here to it. But I'm going to show you how to make a portable, movable workbench that uses all of these to mount all your tools and make it so everything is completely modular and almost everything you need is on this one bench. And it doesn't take up much room and you can move it around. So check that video out next and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.